Hi everyone. So we are going to um, practice combining like terms today since I'm not there. And we're gonna take a look at what that's gonna look like. So I have like terms mean the same variable with the same exponent. So I'm gonna make myself a little chart. I have X's and I have constants. So I know that I have three X minus seven X minus four. So my answer is gonna be negative four X minus four. So it says cross out the letter next to each correct answer. So that would be right here. Okay, let's do a harder one. So I'm gonna try number 10. So I have my constants and my X's again. And so I've got four plus X minus 10 minus 11 X. So one minus 11 is gonna give me negative 10 X. And then four minus 10 is gonna be negative six. So negative 10 minus six. Let's try one with more than two terms or two different terms, I should say. So I'm gonna try number 14. So I have A's, B's, and constants. So I have 7A plus 2B plus 5 minus 5A plus 9B minus 1. All right, so once I get everything separated, seven minus five is two A, and then two plus nine is 11, so 11 B, and then five minus one is four. And I'm gonna look and see if I can find that. There it is. All right, so for every one of these questions, that's what you're gonna be doing um, for combining like terms. So my advice would be to use a whiteboard and make yourself a bunch of tables and work those things out. Alrighty. You need to make sure that you write your answer underneath each one so that this one says 2a plus 11b plus 4. And this one says, what do we get? Negative 10x minus 6. And this one over here says negative 4 x minus 4. So you want to make sure you're writing your answer with each one. All right, let's take a look at the second page. So again, you're going to be combining like terms. So we're going to do the exact same thing again. So you're making your chart. So let's start with number two. So I have n's and constants. So I have negative 11 n plus 3 n plus 2. So that gives me negative 8n plus 2. So I'm going to write that down. And then it says that I have to match that with another answer. All right, so let me see if I can figure that one out. So I've got to do a so n and constant so I have 6n and then minus negative so plus positive so plus 2n plus 8 so it's going to be 8n plus 8 all right and you're just going to keep going until you match them up. So like if number two is going to match one of these letters over here. All right. And you need to make sure that you write your answers on each side. I hope you have a great rest of your day. If you have questions, let me know. Bye.